pistol heart surgeon and to hear details of what lay behind it when public inquiry opened today. It'll cost at least £15 million and could take up to two years, but campaigners already say its scope will be too limited. Tim Rogers reports. Among the early arrivals at the inquiry this morning, Tracy Clark from Devon is the first of scores of parents who will give evidence about their own personal tragedy. Her 11-month-old baby, Melissa, died following a heart operation at the Bristol Royal Infirmary. And her mother, like many other parents, believe their babies died because of the surgeon's incompetence. It's that central allegation and the implications for the health service that the inquiry will investigate. It was the anger which followed an earlier General Medical Council hearing which resulted in calls for a public inquiry. Three doctors, James Wishart, his colleague Dr John Roylance and surgeon Janadan Dasmana were all found guilty of gross professional misconduct. Parents like Trevor James now want a change in the system. He says the circumstances resulting in the death of his baby daughter Bethany should never be repeated. In future, surgeons should be more accountable. These people hold life in their hands and they don't ad account to anybody. Now that is totally unacceptable. But John McLaurin is one of a group of parents speaking out for the surgeons. He says he owes his son's life to their work. I think we owe it to these people to, to say, well, this is what our experience was. Let's help to give evidence and, and give a full picture and then Perhaps we can come to a useful conclusions for everyone. In total, more than 500 witnesses will appear at this inquiry. The end result in two years' time could have significant implications for the whole NHS. Tim Rogers, ITN, Bristol. Well, Malcolm Kerno, who's one of the parents from the Bristol Heart Children's Action Group, joins us now from the inquiry. Malcolm Kerno, we I think everyone can understand the feelings of the parents involved, their anger over the whole situation that has led to this, but. What are you actually now hoping will emerge from this inquiry? Well, that's very easy to answer, and that is the truth. There are three questions which we would like answered by this inquiry, and that is, one, why did our children die, or why were they left injured? Why were the children's hearts retained after post-mortem? And what is going to be recommended that will prevent this happening both now and in the future? Uh, is one of the other areas that uh, you might be interested in having the inquiry explore the length of time that it took for this whole thing to eventually reach a crunch because the first signs were there many years ago, weren't they? Yes, they were. And it's taken the efforts of many parents over the last 18 months following the GMC to bring about this public inquiry. And we needed this in order to get the people who were responsible in the managerial positions to answer for their actions and to explain why it did take so long and why so many children potentially died or were left injured as a result of them taking no action. Well, Malcolm Kerno, thank you very much indeed. Still to come on the lunchtime news, Europe's biggest shopping centre opens today in Kent, but is biggest best. She made him and all the other 19 European commissioners to resign for the commission to be reformed root and branch. Chief Constable of Kent has been given the job of leading the investigation into the murder of the Northern Ireland solicitor Rosemary Nelson, who was killed by a car bomb attack in County Armagh. And parents who lost children in the Bristol heart surgery scandal finally began to hear details today of what lay behind it when the long-awaited public inquiry opened. Before we go, we look at the first big public appearance by Sir Paul McCartney since the death of King Charles at the start of the public inquiry into the death of nine children at Fernry. Other parents will go through similar experiences during the course of that inquiry into what went wrong during heart operations at Bristol. Our medical correspondent, Andrea Catherwood, is at the inquiry. Earlier today, in this room, the public inquiry began to find out what went wrong at Bristol. More than 500 witnesses will be called to give evidence, including the doctors who performed the operations and parents of babies who died. Tracy Clark was the first to tell her harrowing story. Her daughter Melissa, seen here in a family video, died before her first birthday after a heart operation. I hope to, that we find out the truth about Melissa and we just want to find out why we were le left to sit beside her bed for nearly a week when they knew that she was very severely brain damaged. The three doctors at the centre of the scandal have already been found guilty of serious professional misconduct by the General Medical Council. 
This investigation promises to start afresh, presuming nothing. It will look at some 2,000 operations performed over a 12-year period and the reasons why problems weren't discovered sooner. It will also hear from parents like John McLoriman. He supports the surgeons and believes they did their best for his son, Joe. I think we owe it to these people to, to say, well, this is what our experience was. Let's help to give evidence and, and give a full picture, and then perhaps we can come to a useful conclusions for everyone. It may take two years for this inquiry to produce its findings, but those could have wide-reaching implications for the running of the National Health Service and how doctors police themselves. Andrea Catherwood, ITN, Bristol. The body of Rosemary Nelson, the Northern Ireland lawyer murdered yesterday by a car bomb, 